G'day, I'm Rick Mason from Rousseau Anglican Church and this is an invitation. Christian history offers plenty of ammunition to critics of Jesus and the church. The Crusades, the Inquisition, witch trials, oppression of women and plenty of genuinely horrific things that the church has done and even tried to cover up. There are many things in Christian history that people point to as an excuse to say no to invitations to church or reading the Bible and finding out more about Jesus. But what's the real history? If you're someone who's been put off coming to church because of what you believe the church is responsible for, or if you're a Christian who would like to feel confident and able to speak with others about parts of Christian history that have a bad reputation, then join us at Rassel Anglican Church for four Monday nights starting the 12th of October to watch and discuss over food and drink a four-part documentary series that takes a warts and all look at Christian history weighing up the good, the bad, the ugly, and the unexpected about the impact Christianity has had on the world. Uh, it's not the history we think we know. It might just change your mind. Here's a teaser trailer. I'm utterly ashamed of it. I'm ashamed that the name of Christ has ever been associated with a bomb or an AK-47. The history of the West has been mostly Christian, and that history is mixed. Here is where the Crusades began. Salvation for taking up the sword. The Crusaders burst through and slaughtered men, women, and children. There are plenty of circumstances for Christians as need for Muslims. Religion is a really good banner to march under. This was where Adolf Hitler proclaimed his vision for the Third Reich. And what was the Christian church doing in response to the unfolding madness? Should Christianity be understood as oppressive for women or as liberating? The Hammer of She-Witches was a bestseller for about 200 years. This is one of the most beautiful places in Hawaii. It's also a natural prison. Diseases, land grabs and outright massacres led to the annihilation of entire communities. To lose the land was a tragedy. Even though we aspire to this idea of living in God's image, we often fail palpably. What does it look like when the church exists for others? There's no denying that Christians have sometimes played completely out of tune, but they've also played it beautifully and with lasting effect. Join us as we travel the globe and back through history to uncover the truth. The church is better and worse than you ever imagined.